The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tiger Technician Hour with your host, Basil Chapman. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Chapman. Hi everyone, Basil Chapman on this Tuesday, the uh, 12th of April, and we're looking at the Dow of 236 points at 34,543. One of the things we need to look at here, <clears throat> remember this pattern, it's a pattern that I talk about a lot, I, I nicknamed it the falling axe, it's really an expanding, declining cone formation, a lot of words. Uh, but that basically explains what happened. So look, the Dow made a peak D in the Chapman Wave methodology. Boys identify a buy signal that can go to a buy mode to making at least four higher peaks, and it's at that peak D that other things can happen. But sometimes from the peak D, you get a pullback, and some of the technicals deteriorate. For instance, the MACD went negative, the stochastic went way down. It's at 30%. I mean, this is really weak. And yet the 9 is still above the 14-period exponential moving average. It's still hugging the 200-period exponential moving average. So my rule of thumb is that if it starts to form a base after you've got this expanding, I've got this blue uh, line here, declining line, hi, lower highs, much lower lows. If it starts to form a, a turnaround base and able to break above that trend line, the, the upper trend line, you could have a one-to-one -one quick move in the same parallel motion, the same degrees, same number of bars to the upside to retest that previous high. So if that's the case, this is a really important moment. It's struggling. The Dow had um, was acting very weak. I had spoken about this just in the update. I did it at 10 a.m. There's the 10-minute chart. It made this beautiful ball formation. The ball formation invariably says that if you continue to move higher, at some point you can spike. You either stall or spike right through the left side high. That was the high that was made yesterday at 3.10, 10 past 3 in the afternoon at 44.39.25. Well, uh, the low today so far is 43.82. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, we're talking about a huge decline. And then it starts a very steady cup formation, higher highs and higher lows, sort of stalls. The 200-period moving average, which wasn't even in the picture, suddenly becomes into the in the picture at 8 o'clock. And we're getting closer and closer. Then the news comes out about the inflation being within the parameters that people thought it would be. So that turned into a very positive for the S&P. And it spiked higher. It went to a peak F, pulls back. I call this next one a G slash B alternate count. My thinking here is if you had to measure this left side high vertically right there, to this right side high. The MACD is still very good. Stochastic is kind of weak, and the on-balance volume did go higher. So it says at this particular level, there could be an alternate count, and that alternate count is going to be really important because if the green nine-period exponential moving average, which is still very positive above the black 14, it's at 44.47. If that gets taken out, 44.41 will be the next test of support. But if in the next... Four, I'd say three, but I'm going to give it four candles. There is a push above the high of the day of 4466.77. That's going to suggest that I did not like the weakness yesterday when the Dow just got pummeled when it was holding so well. It even had a move in the futures to uh, up to a positive at about 8 o'clock yesterday before it took that dive. So, and all day the selling pressure was on. I don't like that. And that, that applies also to the pattern that I'm looking at. I'm going to be talking about these in, in detail tomorrow when I do my uh, webinar on, on is it possible in 2022 with all the bad news out and even the potential uh, talk of third world war can we even be looking at new all-time highs what are the parameters what we'll be looking at how is it even possible and i'll talk about why it could be possible most importantly i did not like that red candle in this particular pattern so to to alleviate the weakness of this particular candle monday's candle i need to see it doesn't have to close but it needs to get above the high of yesterday which was 35 
34,700. And uh, what are we looking at here? Did I just move that by mistake? Yes, I did. Uh, 34,701. Today's high is 34,669. So we kind of under it, 30 points or more under it. So we need to be pushing higher by the end of the day. It's going to be a bit of a struggle. We'll talk about that. Okay. Now there's a ton to talk about. Let's just go to the S&P. The S&P actually had a, a much weaker peak D at 4637.30. That was around about the 27th, 28th of uh, of. Uh, March, and then it comes tumbling down. Trough A, trough B, we're in leg C, maybe a, a trough C this morning uh, with this 200 period moving average acting as beautiful support so far. It did go above yesterday's uh, high bar. So this is acting. The, the chart on the way down is much weaker than the Dow. The action that we're seeing today so far is better than the Dow, even though it's up 0.108. Uh, ah, it is up one point, just over 1%. Dow is only up 0.64%. So this is a good start. And I want to see the QQQ, the NDX 100, up 1.83% at 347.23, up 633. Uh, uh, I don't like this. This peak B has all the characteristics of a D. It's just what a big pullback. So the, the NDX 100 remains the weakest of the indices uh, based on where it was at the high of 408.71. Uh, back in, was it November, I think it was, uh, December. And uh, now what we're looking at, well, let me just double check. Yeah, I don't want to just talk out of turn. One, two, three. I should know this by memory. I've done it so many times now. Wasn't that the January high? Oh, that's right. This was November. November at 408.71, head and shoulders pattern, my least favorite pattern, um, at, uh, on the 22nd of November. I remember then it was a retest very close to it, but it failed. Yeah, that's what it was. So, yeah, this is acting very poorly. The IWM, the Russell 2000, fabulous move up to 2.28% today, up 446 at 201.07, but that has a peak D right on the 200 period moving average. All of these techniques I'm going to be talking about in my webinar tomorrow, but it's not just the techniques that I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be talking about the chart formations that could be in, uh, it could be the patterns de jour coming up over the pattern was be more than the day. It'll be the current patterns that we're looking for over the next two to three months. That's going to be really important. What are we looking at? Are we looking at the arch formation, peak D failures? Are we looking at the, the reverse Y pattern, which says, hey, wait a minute, uh, this is very good action because it's taken out the left side high. And what is that? That is this pattern right here. So we're looking at either straight line moves up or down, up or down. We're looking at the H pattern where you take out the left side low and you keep going lower. Or you're talking about the rallies up, pull back, then test the left side high and break above it. What are we looking at? Oh, but wait a minute. There's the other pattern. And that is the rectangle formation. We have seen so many of those. I'm going to go through some of them this morning. So look at this. Yes, basically a rectangle. Oh, basically a rectangle pattern in the IWM trapped between the 212-ish area and the one, let's even call it the 190s for now. And there's that peak D. So the lowercase h goes to a lowercase m. And then what does it do? It makes an even larger m. I'll be back in a moment. Now it's up two, six, and the s and up 50. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hi, folks. We're back, and this is the Invesco S&P 500 High Dividend Low Volatility ETF, the SPHD, code in the Dan Austin. What is, what is a chap wave notation? So this is very interesting. This very much looks like the defensive sectors. That, I hope I'm going to remember SPHD. Look at GIS to keep your eye on the left side chart. Doesn't this look the same? And this is General Mills Foods. I'm going to be talking about these potential double tops in so many sectors here. Look at this. 72.95 was the high in July of 2016. Peak D comes plummeting down. And what does it do? It goes down to a low of, of about 36, rallies up. And where is it right now? It's at um, so the high today, 70.93, a little bit below yesterday's high. And uh, trying to double top. Is this going to be a double top in the defensive area? Well, let's go back to the Invesco S&P 500 high dividend low volatility ETF called the SP, if I can actually now find the, find the uh, SPHD. SPHD trading at SPHD. Here we go. Trading at um, 48.20, made a high. Uh, is that an all-time high or recovery high? This is an all-time high yesterday. Unbelievable. Um, it goes to 40, let me just give you the exact number, 48 point, was it 50 something? Yeah, 58, 48.58. I've got this as an alternate account, G and C. I'm going to be talking about this for those of you who have done my, my workshops um, and you know my methodology very well. What I have started to do is that when the MAGD is very strong, I've spoken about this for years, um, that when the MACD is very strong, instead of giving alternate counts all the way through, I just continue the sequence of the alphabet, D, E, F. But when I get to G, I, I think some of you have noticed, one or two people have, have, have actually mentioned it to me, what, what's going on uh, with those GCs. Well, I don't want to put, it just gets too cumbersome, E slash A, F slash B, G slash C. When we get to a G and everything's running, the rule of thumb is that when the MACD is really strong, with um, at a peak D, there's a good chance that the instant restart is going to just take it all the way to a G, and then it pulls back, and it can turn into a leg D, and then it pulls back. So it's getting close to some kind of a consolidation phase. That's what I've done, 
And you can see that here. So it's acting extremely well. The MACD is good. Stochastic, you can't get, I mean, 91% is fabulous in the daily. But the weekly is 96%. But that on-balance volume is suggesting it is getting somewhat toppy, even though it's a leg C in the weekly chart. And the MACD is good. Not as good as everything was way back at the highs in May, May June. But look at the monthly chart. Stochastic's at 89%. MACD is very strong. Nine is way above the 14 in leg D. So, yes, I do like this. In fact, I'm going to type it in right now. This is called, it's too many words. So it's the Invesco, I'm just going to call it S&P 500 dividend. And I've spoken about dividend stocks for a long time now. Oh, high dividend stocks. Oh, I thought I had that down. S&P 500 high dividend, low volatility. I mean, what more could you ask for? Low vol, I have to put volatility. We don't want to mix it up with volume. ETF. And it's done fantastic. And this is kind of the area that I'm saying to subscribers. This one and the same person uh, gave me the idea of S. P L V haven't got into it yet, but this is one I'm also looking at. Just made a peak E, same sort of thing. Potential double top at 68.86 uh, back in January or December or January of uh, the past few months, and then it retested 69.16. Um, I'm watching this very closely. This is the Invesco S&P low volatility ETF, but this is a little different one. This one uses the top 100. 100 out of the 500 um, and the, the, the high, I'll have to look into them but both of them are doing really well and I suspect they're in play even if they pull back and this one could be if you had asked me where would you buy I'd say you know what if you haven't got anything in and you're really looking for something in the low volatility area and this was making all-time highs when the market's uh, pulling back sharply, I would look at this and say, start a position, treat it as an entry point at 68.44 right now. But this is just like, like, I've missed the move. I want to be in. I need to follow it much closer, and I'll only follow it if I own it. I believe that very strongly. If you own it, you follow it. Um, and so at 68.44, it's just not the best place, I understand. But... The real best place is, and it's a dividend stock, so a point and a half lower means that you, you, you know, you're now getting a different ratio to your dividend. But I am going to say my next preference should be between 65.10 and 66.50. I'd try to go for the lower area. And then I'd just have a third one in, uh, hopefully not getting it. And the third one would be under 65. But I'd like whoever it is who's looking at it to give me a yell first before you go there. All right, so I like it very much. What would happen for it to really break out? For it to break out, this is the S, I'm at, at the SPLV, but the question was SPHD. So let's go to the SPHD. Where would I get in? I get it at 4825 fractions off the, the all time high. It's kind of tough. This one, I would, I would step in, but really just a nibble, just to get a feel for it. At 48.25, the best place for the starter position actually would be about a point lower or about three quarters of a point. But I'm not going to fuss over that because I have the same three entries. Just a nibble here. The real position would be somewhere between 47. I'd like to look at it again, but somewhere between 47.42 and 46.80. And then I'd have another third position. And I just, it's a leg C in the weekly chart. I let it pull back and see if it goes higher. Um, but most importantly, it does look like a really good uh, low volatility area. Now, if the general market suddenly takes off by maybe Friday, Thursday, Friday, we're looking at the Dow not at 40, uh, 34, uh, 20, uh, 34,250. It's right now at 34,530. But instead, it's actually at 45,790, 45,830. Uh, we'll see how this one does. What's the ratio we want to see on a really strong move in the market? So far, it's saying it's independence doing its own thing. SPHD, the S&P 500 high dividend, low volatility ETF. Yes, thank you for pointing it out. I need to write that down. 
So that's S P L V and S P H D. Great. I got to write it very well because the other day I wrote something down and it, I couldn't even read my handwriting. So I, symbols is what we got, and I didn't get the right symbol. All right. Next question is. Um, I hope that helps. A uh, crowd is a big winner. Yes, crowd, the one we keep keep missing. I would like this or P A N W Palo Alto Networks. These are the top um, cybersecurity stocks. Uh, this has got a new recovery high. Made a peak E at two thirty two point eighty six on the on the uh, whatever that was on the on the first of April. Pulls back to the two hundred period moving average, having a big spike. But this is now. A leg D, and I'm going to talk about this tomorrow night. All right, so we're looking for leg Ds. But what happens to a leg D that comes in place way below the previous peak? In this case, peak F top was at about 300 uh, in the fall of last year, before the fall of the uh, crowd strike. That's what I'll talk about. I'll be back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading market and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Chart. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, folks. We're back. And thank goodness I just had a poor report earlier on. I saw a report that there was a bombing in Brooklyn subway. My granddaughter gets the train to high school um from brooklyn subway and i was really perturbed and i just uh, sent a note to my son to find out what's happening he said everything for them at least is good uh but it's just terrible these things happen um all right well now i feel a little, just a little bit better about the family so crowd is trading up 14 at 230.72 now the way i'm looking at this it is in it is very positive 
in the daily chart, it could be in for a little bit of a consolidation because it hit the left side high of what I was looking at of 236.30 way back. I drew this in. Let me show you how I draw these patterns. I'll talk about this tomorrow, how I draw the left side, right side price time match. It took a little longer to get there, but eventually it hit. 236 was the number we were looking for. And today it hit what? 236.18. I mean, how do these things work? Look at this cup formation. I drew this in. We had it at some point. Uh, we lost a little bit um, back at the 192 level. Uh, then it did pull back quite sharply. It didn't, didn't get back in. But once that nine crossed the 14, I should have said, hey, you know what? It's looking very good. And now look what's happened. It's achieved exactly what we were looking at. Now I think we've got to watch it really closely because it's it's gotten to a level that is like a magnet, a sort of consolidation area. So it's achieved that. Now does that magnet repel it for a little bit and goes back to the 200 period moving average of 211 and then chops around? Or does it in the next week or so break into the 246, 252 area? That'll be read. Finally, I'll be able to say that weekly and monthly chart are now in play. We could finally start looking at a leg D in 2022, probably sometime in the summer. But I just want to go one step at a time because a close under 207 in the next three weeks would say, uh oh, just stalling. So that's crowd that was asked about. Uh, the next question was uh, um, fine. SBAC, SBAC, and then I'll get to the Tiger YouTube and a lot of questions there. I drew this in, and I can't remember why. Maybe it was, I was asked about it before, but I drew it in as a consolidation phase. See the rectangle, how important it is to be able to monitor rectangles because it can stay in a rectangle formation a lot longer than your patients. So whatever this is, it's called SBA of oh, communications. All right, communications, SBA. So C goes to peak C, consolidates for a while, turns the dreaded H pattern. I'm going to show these patterns. All of these patterns, just over and over and over, we see these patterns. Once you can learn the pattern, you're going to identify so many things, and at least it gives you some comfort in saying, I understand what I'm looking at, rather than saying, well, well, well what the heck is going on here? And look at the breakout, and it goes to a leg. There we go. Uh, this is so this is a minor a b c and that overlaps it goes to a d and then an e and then it pulls back um, and if you're looking at the weekly chart this is a brand new it's a gray leg a then a peak a and a gray leg b and then a peak b if there's no new high this week but it is real close to getting into a buy mode. It's got this pattern that we're looking at, these double top formations. So, yes, I like it on a short-term basis. SBAC trading down 3.32 at 357.98, just about a percent. It should hold in the 352, 14-period exponential moving average area. It's at 357. If it closes under 348, it says, uh-oh, it needs more time, and that's going to impact the weekly chart. If, in fact, it just pulls back, but by Monday of this coming week, we're in, we're Tuesday, so it's less than a week. If on Monday afternoon, going into Tuesday, it even touches 368, it's a 357 right now, up 11 points, touches it. That says, aha, chance of a breakout to the upside, acting very well. So if you're long, I'd hold long. If you're looking for a new entry, just money management says uh, the way it's it's acting right now, I would only start a small position at 357.98. And just for the moment, I'd give it about a 5% risk because it's act it has acted so well. So that means like a 15%, a 15-point stop just for the moment. But if by Thursday afternoon, Friday morning, it is not taking out 352, but in fact is trading at, well, the high today is 362. It's trading at 365. Uh, I'd say that's great. Let's look at it again together. Next question is, nice bounce in square, square, yep. Uh, where did I type that? Type it over here. Square. Uh, square is also peak E. How many peak Ds and Es? I'm going to show that as well. Today. Oh, I typed it in the wrong place. Oh, that's the same chart. That's the reason why it looks so familiar. I was going to say, this looks exactly like the chart we were just doing. 
And here we are. It is the chart that we were just doing. I haven't typed in square yet. There it is, square. Square, which is block ink. Stay with square. Made a peak D right on the left side, right side price time match in the cup formation. Now it's gone to a leg A, a trough A, trough B, and it's in a trough C potential today. I think these are going to stall. And the question came in, what about uh, Toll, Toll Brothers? Uh, look at this. China made a peak D top. Back at, um, I think it was November, in the 75s, trading now, it hit the 44s, it's trading right now at 47.90. I I have a problem with these, these look, Toll, uh, the HGX, that's Toll Brothers, is in the home, home Builders area. The HGX looks very similar to this. So the question is, is this the time to get back in? And Jambalaya asked in the Tiger Tiger YouTube LPX. So it's all the, the very damaged stocks. They have pretty much the same pattern. Louisiana Pacific Core, the rails. Funny, I haven't I I've did the I did the notation, but I completely forgot about I used to follow this so closely with the other rails, CSX, etc. Louisiana Pacific Core. Um, in the in the rails trading up 262 at 61.94. So the only way I can look at these, I think there's a lot more work needs to be done before we can establish a pretty decent low in the whole area, especially when you're talking about rates. On the one hand, with Louisiana Pacific Core, we're talking about the rails having been really decimated in terms of just the shorter term, going from the 276s down to the recent low of 239, it's at 244 right now. But it is in a rectangle formation. Is this the move that starts the upside? So this is what I'm going to suggest. It is really early, and I know that you use options. I would prefer, rather than put that money to work at 244, I'd rather be looking at an option. What are we talking about? April options, monthly options. So that would be the third Friday, the 15th. That's this Friday. Too soon. Oh, and this Friday we close because of... Uh, a good Friday. Um, we're talking about the next month. I'd go to the month, the monthly chart, uh, May 20th. I'd be looking at May 20th. I'd look at a call option. Uh, you'd have to be paying a, quite a bit of premium. And I, I suspect that it has a lot of 243 right now. I think the whole 249 and 253 area of the 9 and 14 premium moving averages is going to be really strong resistance. All right, this is the way I would look at it. If, you, if you've done your homework and you like it and you're only looking for an entry place, 243.77 right now, I'd start a small position. I would add to that another small, so split it in half, a small position that's split in half. I'd add to that position a penny over today's high, which is so far 245.77. At 245.78, I'd add another small position. And then we need to see, does it make an arch formation or reach formation? We can look at the gain in another day or two. That's the question. And hopefully... Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. 
Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. I have to say thank you very much for correcting me, uh, Jamalaya. I, I, I'm talking about Louisiana Pacific Corps, and I said Wales, and I said to myself, don't I remember this years ago in the kind of building materials area? Why am I talking about the rails? Because that's what I typed. But that was wrong. It is. It's in the, um, uh, thank you, it's in Manufacturers of Markets, uh, building products primarily for use in your home, construction, repair, and remodeling. Outdoor structures. Yes, 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 yes. I, I don't know what got into me to, have to, to type that without even recognizing that I was typing in the wrong thing because I do remember it very well. Building materials. Aerials. Yeah. So um, it, it's that, it, that. Look at this chart. You see this dreaded H that we're looking at here? Uh, let me just do this and I'll show you something. Uh, in terms of the arch pattern that goes from a lowercase m just use the visuals right now it's much easier here's the, there's the first h and it went to a lower low and within two bars it went above the left side uh, low of the 24th of uh, january and then what happens it makes another h a larger one and then it too takes out the left side low so yes, in a way, what we're looking at now is this whole area. This is the way I would do this. You see this area right here? Now it's trying to get back into this body of, of uh, trading. And that makes 64.36, the 200 period exponential moving average. is at 61.82, uh, 62 right now. Um, yes, yeah, so I, I don't change anything that I said. I would start a little nibble right now. And if it can go just above today's high, of 6268 um, LPX Louisiana Pacific Core building materials mister uh, I would add to it but I would treat it as a trade uh, it's it'll be your pleasure if you get in now and the stop that you would put in and I'm going to say for the moment at 61 8, 62 I'd give it about a two point stop or so maybe a two and a half point stop just to initiate this this give it a day or two because the MACD's histogram is improving but it doesn't it hasn't turned positive the stochastics only just made its turn around they said 19 percent it needs to get to 23 to 25 percent to say hey that's a much better figure because it's over 20 percent and the on balance volume hasn't has given you the v-shaped pattern so yes there's a chance is this the big move for louisiana pacific core i, do, I don't think so i think it's gonna still need much more chopping around but it's your pleasure to get in now as a short-term trade and have your stop and then we'll talk about trading stop not get hit and then all of a sudden you're looking at may the uh, 7th and you've got this thing and it's at 68.50 or 69.80 you say wow and then all you do is just go with that because the monthly I, there's no other way i can count it i spent some time when i did this it is a peak c and the technicals are technically still pretty good in the monthly chart so i hope that helps you um the next question i had was um 
Where did it go? Where did it go? Uh, oh, TLT. Could I do a little bit more work on the TLT? So you see, what I'm going to be discussing in my webinar tomorrow is how can you draw channels? I'm just going to grab a chart. In fact, we can do this right now. I'll go behind. I've got a, a blank chart there. We'll use this one. Hope I don't forget to go back again. Uh, got no notations on it at all. It's just the technicals. And look at this. Look at this. So what I do is I see, can I draw? I've got, I don't have it anymore, but I do have it somewhere in the archives. I have the TYX, the 30-year T-bond yield, going back to the 1980s. Uh, going back to that high back in, what was it, uh, 83, I think it was. So I don't have that anymore. It, does, it got, doesn't even go back far enough for me to be happy. So um, I, I must try and find it. But these channels can last a long time. And remember, I discussed um, in my long-term view back in, I wrote this paper with my partner at the time, uh, on the mega, mega bull market to come. Um, back in 1986, we refined it in 87, and soon after the crash, we, we I, they were going to do it. What was her name? Kathy. She was the editor, um, or the, one of the senior editors. She loved it and wanted us to keep working on it. And I talked about the mega bull market, about McDonald's uh, stock tickers at McDonald's, um, 250 mile per hour cars that will become uh, standard. Uh, all sorts of things that were absolutely outrageous at the time. And she loved it. And then the editors felt it was just way too bullish for, for barons. So we never got it published. Anyway, we had it here at TFNM. We had it, the whole thing. It was published in a book. In fact, the book was called uh, The Psychology of Investing. Uh, the uh, Lifson and Geist were the uh, editors. It was a whole series from the Harvard medical school psychology school of psychology they put this big th uh, big big event on i remember cohen what was it abby cohen a whole bunch of people were speaking i was a guest speaker um and uh it just sounded outrageous and that was i did that in 1998 or 99 and then of course we had the major market top and crash i still believe that that is extant that that is still what we're going to be looking at for a major major market move in the in going to hysterical heights but first we have to get through now pandemic etc and other things so yeah we're looking at the tlt look at this beautiful support long term i'm talking about a, a trend line starting to come down 8th of december and here we are um the uh 12th of april and you've just made a little bit of a low and this one is a little bit a little more flexible than the one I did before, but this is the way I do it. It's going to be red there. It's going to be green here. This is called the Chapman Wave Inside Track Propellant Zone. And look how many times it's gotten to the zone and then it's broken to the upside. So the question uh, Greg wants to know is, uh, would you look at TBT for me? Sorry if you already covered. I did, but I'll do it again. Uh, but I'm just now able to tune in. I have a position in, in the mid 17s. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, TBT. That's good. That's I remember that. Yeah, TBT, and have taken a small amount off. I would like your thoughts on adding stops on a call and stops on a trade. Thanks, Greg. So, okay, Greg, what I'm looking at here is I'm using the TLT because that's our call, and it's just started to form a base. Now, if I go to the TBT, I'm using this blank chart. Remember, I can do the same thing on the upside, but there's a difference. Because on the upside, if I go to that level right there and I go straight along, I'm trying to join as many bars as possible. It's a little different. And you will find that mirror images on, say, the diamonds, the DIA and the DOG, one to one short, one's one to one long. You'll find that there's a little disparity sometimes. And we've just got that. So I'll make it real simple. I like the fact that you took a little bit off the TBT because, look, the stochastic is um, holding well. One of the reasons why I, I skip this particular chart right now is that for some reason, the stochastic has gets cut off over there. So I thought I, I won't. So I made a cop. I, I, I made a copy of the chart and I used it on my regular TBT chart, which is right here. So let's go back to that and let me show you what I've done. You see this 
chart and you see this, it isn't a beautiful up channel because it's really an expanding up channel. But the inside track, the repellent line has become a propellant line in the short term. If I go to this chart here, look at, the, look at this. Look at this chart right here that broke above. I spoke about it yesterday and then it came back in. Well, I think the same thing's going to happen to TPT. I'll be back in a moment. Dow's up 163. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. So let me just show you. Remember, I was talking about left side, right side comparisons. Here we go. This is the E mini at up 26.75. He made that high at 44.66.75 back at about 9 o'clock. And then it pulls back very sharply. The 9, it was over the um, 14. And that meant that that move to the upside, you had to assess in relation to the technicals. Well, the technicals were way weaker at 10 o'clock. And look what's happened. You've got this arch formation. Um, sorry, the cup formation that had a weak right side. And now you're going and you've just broken below the left side lip. So this is going to be very important. What we want to see for the rest of the day is that... Um, the there is just another sudden burst of energy and you can go up about another 100 points by 210 this afternoon and then i'll say whoa could be a really nice close you don't want to see it give back and be up only 80 by after two o'clock whoops so uh, that's for me i i can't do that right now uh, i don't know who that is all right so in the meantime back at the ranch i i wanted to show you the tlt the tbt so i'm going to say i like the fact that you took a little bit off don't get too carried away um, about taking things off because I think rates are going higher. But in the meantime, 
your, the level to watch to take maybe a little bit more off is 21.85. You're at 23.31. I'd rather be looking at this. Give it another Wednesday to Wednesday. We want to see what the Fed does tomorrow, and then Thursday. Let's look at it again. Don't, I, I wouldn't be taking too much off right now because the major thrust is still to the upside. We're going to have to see a big turnaround in yields. So just with that that said, uh, remember this is the. The pattern we're looking at, if it does break into the 2185 area, it could start a very choppy move. Just like ABV, it's the same, a little bit of the same pattern right now. Breaks out of a long term uh, up channel and then starts a very, ABV is the uh, Avid Lab spin off, trading down $1.38. We spoke about it yesterday. Peak E and now it's getting very choppy. So, yes, I like that you took off. You can wait a little bit, take a little bit more for our FDLs if the TPT pulls back a little bit. That's it, Chapman. Um, I'll be back with Tom a little later on. Don't forget my webinar. And please, you have to join, uh, you have to join Discord so that you can get to my webinar.